Okay, on this lesson I will tell something about um, uh, lacing and uh, on, we will create some some uh, basic grid uh, which is uh, which will be flat. Uh, first of all, one more time, let's uh, create a point. So by coordinate uh, x, y, z, and then uh, let's uh, put uh, we um, assume that we want to create a grid. Uh, let's assume that this grid will have uh, from zero to ten meters, and the spacing will be one. Uh, so let's connect it. Let's uh, double it, and we have uh, both of them like that. Uh, because I want to show you the theory of uh, lacing, uh, you will understand in a second. Uh, I want to show you the watch option uh, how how we can operate on the list. Uh, right now we see that we have uh, two lists. Uh, if we would like to, for example, add these two lists to each other. So let's uh, type plus uh, and uh, uh, add, this is adding uh, one list to the another one. So if I uh, just see what is inside. We see that the first uh, item in the list was added to the first item in the list, and uh, then till the end it was adding, and we have as a result uh, exactly the same list. But what will happen if I, for example, here will have a smaller list, like the half of it? We see that uh, it was adding first item to the first item uh, in the list. And he was doing it until he reached the, the shortest of two lists. So he was doing it only five times. So in the index number five, he add this five to this uh, five and he has got the 10. If we left uh, right click on the node, uh, we will see the lacing option. And then we see the option of the short uh, that is by default turn on is the shortest. Let's change it to the longest. Then we see the result. It's uh, it's exactly uh, of the the same. It's exactly the same size as the longest of the two lists which was put it to the. Uh, operation, but uh, how did he manage to uh, achieve uh, this uh, long uh, uh, lists uh, from one long list and one short list? He was adding uh, like he was doing it before: first item to the first item, second to the second item. But what happened with the sixth uh, item? We see that he add the last item of the shortest one. To the um, to the um, next of the items uh, in the longer one, so we see that he add this five to the ten, nine, eight, seven, and six. So everything what uh, was uh, longer than the shortest uh, item, he was just adding um, to it. But uh, in if we go back to the lacing options, we see there was also a cross product uh, of the lacing. Uh, let's uh, click on it and see what's going to happen. And we see that he make a two-dimensional array or the list of the lists. We can uh, we can visualize ourselves it uh, in two ways. Uh, Officially, it's the list of the lists, but uh, since we are engineers, we can assume that this is a matrix. And uh, we have the rows and we have the columns. Um, we can say that in the first row, uh, we have the column of the uh, list, which consists uh, a shorter uh, list, uh, which was changed by adding to uh, to it uh, the first item of the longer one uh, in the end it ends with the product which uh, consists um, 
50 elements because it's uh, zero added to the um, to the uh, five elements of the shorter one one added to the five elements of the shorter list and so on and so on so to visualize this we will try to do the lacing options on the points so let's change it to the longest and we see that the coordinates of the points was uh, the first one zero zero the fifth one was five five but the next one the sixth one was six and five and the last one was ten and five so this point coordinates it's 10 on the x and 5 on the y uh, axis then what will happen with, if we change the rate uh, the lacing to the cross product we see we create a grid and uh, this is exactly the product which we are looking for because right now we can create uh, the grid uh, of the points on which we uh, will be operating okay uh, watch uh, one more time how the output is looking we see that uh, in the first list uh, lists of the list we achieved uh, the points which are on the x um, X uh, axis, and uh, then uh, it's changing. Uh, I think uh, it's reasonable to see that uh, we are operating only on X and Y changing. So first, uh, in first lists, all, all in first lists of the list, uh, the first uh, X coordinate uh, is zero until the end and in the second list uh, it's changed to once and so on to the 10 till the end okay i hope i explain anything in this video 